seems like a major come down from the past couple of camp kitchens we've been at. You know, it's just way too big and busy. If there's a big thing, you gotta see it. This is the word that they thought was vulgar. Remember how they just cut it out of the Wikipedia article? You see a big thing, you have to stop at the big thing. But they can defend themselves <laughs> with their butts. There's a wombat. This is my first time seeing a wombat in the wild. Hey, the cute ducks outside the van. <laughs> there seem to be two different types of duck hanging out together. There's the ones with the little mohawky bits at the back of their neck and the ones without and who have the I don't know, it's almost like a stripe across their eye. Hey, duckies. We're in Gundagai. There's a couple of caravan parks in Gundagai. And um, we're in the one that's slightly northwest, if I'm getting my directions correct. Um, it's pretty nice here. I don't know if you spotted those ducks behind me. There they are. Eee, so cute. And there's some more over there as well. It's really hard to point backwards. Um, that's a really nice spot. Let me show you. A pretty vein. People along the street. Some kind of playground slash sports thingy. Oh, it might be a, is that a pool over there. Oh, it might be a pool and some duckies. Um, the main areas here and some cabins you can stay in. More of the ducks over there. A uh, little mountain off to the side. Okay, probably a more like a hill than a mountain, but you know, it's really nice. I'm going to the loo. And then, maybe for a short walk. This is the camp kitchen. It's a very nice, tidy little camp kitchen. But, um, <laughs> because it's so little, it seems like a major come down from the past couple of camp kitchens we've been at. Um, there's one on each side, so, you know, I mean, it, it is a really lovely little camp kitchen, but I can't help judging this teeny tiny little thing against the, the amazing one we had at the last place and um, some of the really awesome ones we've seen on our travels. But it's neat and it's tidy and it's got everything you need. So we came from the Wagga Wagga Albury area we're going up this road and we'll be heading towards Yass and then towards Sydney. I'm not planning to stop in Sydney. We're just bypassing it. Um, from what I remember of the what I've put on the trip planner, pretty sure we'll just be going along the coast past it. But either way, unless we have a reason to stop in um, Sydney, there's no reason to stop in Sydney. <laughs> it's too big, it's too busy. Just parking and driving in Sydney is a shocker. There are some sheep. Hello sheepies. There's a floodway here plus a path that goes off to the right there. Maybe I'll take that for just a few minutes. I don't think the sheep want to say hi to me. They're already vaguely walking away. Cute little creek. Hey sheep. Oh, it's all right. It's okay. Just saying hi. Oh, yep. No, they're going. No, sorry. You've just invaded our space. Go away. <laughs> sorry, sheep. <laughs> Oops. I like this little creek here. <clears throat> if there's a big
big thing? You gotta see it. It's the big koala. You can stick your head up through him. That sounds all kinds of wrong. Anyway, it's at this place here called Oliver's, which is um, less fast foody sort of fast food. It's actually really um, sort of expensive, but delicious. This is the dog on the tucker box. sign over here, sign about Gundagai. This Gundagai is where we stayed last night. Oh, this is the poem that the dog on the tucker box is based on. It's a giant sheep's giant testicles. I kid you not. This is the big merino. We're gonna have a look at the big merino. We'll go around the other side. Come Alexis, quick, 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 quick. She didn't She didn't want to pose in front of the sheep's testicles. Spoil sport. <laughs> Massive merino sheep. You see a big thing, you have to stop at the big thing. No, no, no. It's huge. We have these very cool 3D postcards. I will not buy this one, thank you very much. The effect doesn't quite transfer on video, but trust me, it looks really 3D. Ugh.
my kangaroo. <laughs> Look at it, it's just hanging out in front of us. <laughs> cool, huh? I wonder when the wombats come out. Mm. Dusk until dawn. We are at the Bendila Recreation Reserve. So, wombats are pretty cool. They, um, I think they call them like, some people refer to them as bulldozers because <laughs> they're big lumps of muscle. And um, the way they protect themselves is if a predator tries to get into their burrow, they'll wait until the predator's head is at the entrance of the burrow. And then they will back up towards the predator towards the predator's head, I guess, and they will th throw their butts in the air really hard, crushing the predator's head. So, um, yes, they do look cute and cuddly, <laughs> but they can defend themselves <laughs> with their butts. <laughs> Not a word of a lie. <laughs> Isn't that hilarious? But, hey, clever, you know. You've got to defend yourself how you can, right? There's a wombat. I don't want to do go too close because, you know, that's terrible to scare him. I'm going to zoom in. Film, I, think. I will, but I'll zoom in first. There it is. A little ball of muscle just there. This is my first time seeing a wombat in the wild. Not in a zoo and not roadkill. Oh. It's so cute. So very slowly, Alexis, we don't want to scare it. Look at it. Oh my goodness. Oh, it's so cute. Hello, Wombi. Oh, look, it's so cute. Oh, <laughs> Bye, Wombat. Oh, it's so cute. Oh, it's just adorable. So our little wombat friend is, oh, kind of well hidden just behind. Mm, there ish. Or is it there? It's not moving much. There it is, just sort of behind that. Or in front of that little tall tree. Anyway. Here is a river and I would walk along and show you, but I'm on grass and there are many, many animal poos that I don't want to bring into the van. So I won't walk, <laughs> because Alexis is <laughs> picking her way through. I don't want to walk unless I'm concentrating fully. <laughs> this area is quite the mud pit. They seem to have Dropped a heap of bitumen around here to uh, help with that, I think. Uh, please hang on to the railing because that could be quite slippery. <laughs> Let's not see you end up in the water. Um, yeah, it's a really nice spot. There's another one but over there. And one more over near those right there, those rocks. And some ducks over that way, but we've all seen ducks before. Hello one bat. Kangaroos aren't too worried that we're here. Walking very quietly, as quietly and slowly as we can along this road. <coughs> they sort of have a bit of a look and then ignore us again. We just chatted to a man. Oh, the guy's coming out of the loose over there. Oh, tiny kangaroo. And um, he said he saw a baby wombat. 
Oh, that's funny. Hop to that kangaroo and then jumped back like, okay, I won't bother you. Look at the baby one bounding around. Oh, look, look, it's getting in the pouch. I think. Look, can you see? Yeah. It could be feeding or it's trying to get in. I've seen mother kangaroos with somewhat large babies and it's like, how on earth does that thing fit in there? Oh, it's so cute. <laughs> I think this baby really has the zoomies. And there's another one back past the car. So there is um, almost zero signal here, <laughs> which means that um, we have no internet. So um, it is totes worth it to see wombats because wombats. <laughs> But um, we're sitting here in the dark now going, hmm, now what? I am used to being connected pretty much all the time. And not being connected feels really weird. Especially when I've seen cool wombats and I want to tell my friends and go, wombats, they're so cool. But um, yeah, I can't because we have no connection. <laughs> anyway, I'll find something to do. Um, I did bring some books with us as well so uh, I can read if I feel like it. And we need to cook dinner at some point soon, so there's also that to do. And um, honestly, it wouldn't hurt us to have an early night tonight. We've been doing a lot of driving and uh, I'm quite tired. Hopefully we'll sleep well tonight. If this is the end of this video, then um, thank you for watching. Uh, please do hit the thumbs up and um, subscribe if you haven't already. That'd be pretty cool. Um, don't forget to hit the notification bell so that you'll get notified when I have um, new videos up, um, which if you hadn't noticed happens every Saturday. And um, oh, also don't forget that I have a Patreon now um, if that is your thing. If it isn't, please just continue to like and um, comment and that helps my channel grow. So that's really cool as well. And watch them all the way through to the end. Apparently the algorithm likes that. Thank you to my awesome um, patrons who have already signed up. You are all legends. Okay, I'll see you in the next video. Bye. <sighs> this wombat scared the crap out of me. I was about to go to the toilet. I didn't realize it was just around that side of the car. And um, it's really that close. <sighs> oh goodness. Hey little wombat. Oh, you're so cute. I don't know if you can hear it, but I'm close enough to hear it eating. I kind of just want to stay here looking at the cute wombat. I also don't want to move and scare it. I guess it's not really that bothered by me because otherwise, you know, I'm sure they can hear, because it can hear me talking. <laughs> Doesn't seem too concerned. Oh, So cool. Munchy, munchy wombat. It's okay. Yeah, I am near you, but... I'm not going to do anything.